All right, bottom of the card this is a little awkward, so pardon the camera work. Uh, so this cable here, this is my battery tender, and it's just plugged in there, and the lead just dangles up. Uh, the lead here that's uh, connected to the battery, I am going to keep that. Uh, I would recommend a battery tender, so uh, the plug is probably unique to this one anyway, so let the new owner sort that out. Just sort of let the video speak for itself. This stuff's pretty, pretty tidy under here. Pretty clean. I'll just add comments as I see fit. Uh, stainless uh, hoses, that was uh, done by a previous owner. This car had dragging brakes for years, uh, prior to me figuring out why. And uh, so I had a lot of replacement parts and that was one of the things that was done. That was not the cause. The uh, brake booster rod is adjustable and it had backed out. I'm oh, sorry, I was keeping the, uh, there's some oil dripping from the last oil change, I think. Um, so the uh, the booster rod uh, is threaded and it had backed out and um, the uh, master cylinder wasn't backing out completely when you let up on the pedals, so the fluid couldn't back into the reservoir. And uh, until you know that, it was hard to figure out. This plate or these M7 bolts are frequently missing. These are present. Everything's nice and straight. So that sheet heel, that heat shield is original. This is the uh, dual manifold, dual downpipe manifold that I was talking about earlier. Let me see if I can get a better shot on it. I have no idea if I'm showing this, I can't see. Um, but the original manifold on this car is very restricted. So that, that's, an up, that's a, what I would consider an upgrade. The uh, catalytic converter is visually correct, but it is empty. Uh, the, there are exact fits, uh, replacements available. Uh, if that's an issue, uh, I'm happy to install whatever is provided for me prior to the car departing. I will say I've been through this before, and for most states, for some states, what I have here is fine. For some states, you'll need a 49-state replacement, which costs, I think, $200. And if you are in California, I feel for you because there is also an exact fit replacement that looks identical to the $200 one, except that it has a CARB carb label on it. And as a result, the identical unit costs, I think it was $1,600. And in my experience, you would have to put that on to register the car in California, no matter what. We had a car with an original uh, with a uh, uh, OEM spec catalytic on it, and it did not pass. The guy had to, the poor guy had to change to a carb unit, and the car passed. But the, he was understandably not pleased. I would not have been pleased either. Let's go around to the sides. Pardon the camera work. So that accordion there, that's a uh, pipe, that's the flex pipe that goes with the dual down pipe. Normally it would just be a crushed section of regular tubing to clear the sway bar. That was one of the restrictive components. Uh, these cars are frequently lifted incorrectly by the floor beams. This one did better than a lot of cars, but you can see it, it was jacked incorrectly at least once there, but not. Not too bad. A lot of times these beams are 
really flat. And that's true of the pinch rails too. A lot of times these are completely crushed flat. So this car doesn't have a perfect jacking history, but actually pretty good. And if you're not gonna do all the work on this car yourself, I think it would be prudent to add some labeling. Uh, not to lift by the beam and not to lift by the uh, pinch rails, but to lift by the correct jacking pad, which is really obvious, but for some reason is frequently overlooked. Not sure why. Uh, that's a TT two and a quarter stainless exhaust. It's heavy, so the stock hangers frequently wear out. So this one has a, uh, you can't see it, but it's a, it's a chain reinforced hanger uh, on this section here. It keeps it high, high and tight. dry climate car. This is where these dry climate cars really shine. Uh, I have the OEM tank. It's been completely refurbished. Uh, it's a long explanation. It's probably better if you go to the VW Vortex thread and see how that was done and why that needs to be done. Uh, explaining that would be beyond the scope of this video. Uh, that's a genuine Bosch Fuel pressure accumulator, they are no longer anodized green, not sure, or uh, whatever the finish is. They're, they're usually green. Now they're like this, I'm not sure why. Sign of the times. Uh, the pump, the original pump was fine. I thought it would be prudent to replace it, so it has a, uh, a genuine Bosch replacement. Let's see, all the lines are in good shape. Again, there's just no rust on this car. <laughs> Sorry for the bad camera work. Again, I'm laying on the floor here, so forgive me. Oh, low battery, so I'm going to call this video and then uh, get all these uploaded. If I missed anything, let me know.